Hi and welcome. My name is Kolja and uh, today I want to show you how to animate a sprite in Scratch. This is uh, the main workspace of Scratch. We have here um, our scene and here's the, the space for programs. And I want to show you how to get uh, the, the cat here to move when I press uh, right and left arrows. So to start I Selected a backdrop, say blue sky, put the cat here on the floor, um, maybe set the size down to 50%, so it's got some more room to move. And uh, now to get it to move, there's, uh, there's a couple of ways. The, the easiest way to do this is um, use when key pressed, so I select when right arrow key pressed, move 10 steps, and when I press the right arrow, the cat moves to the right. Um, now to move it to the left, I can duplicate this block and select left arrow key pressed. Um, but now I have to get the cat to face into the other direction. So I have to use point in direction, select left. And now if we move left, we see uh, the cat's turned on the head, which we can um, easily fix by selecting the turn type here to left, right. Um, of course, when we go right, we have to set the direction as well, which is right. And now the cat can move left and right. Um, this, when a key pressed, start block, uh, starts a new new program block and um, when I have this, this key continuously pressed you can see it's uh, the little pauses between between each step because these uh, these conditions are not evaluated uh, continuously but there's there's always a little pause in between to get a more smooth movement what we can do is uh, take only one program block and put an, an infinite loop in here. Um, and then instead of uh, having this, this condition here, I use sensing uh, key pressed. So the difference between if this key right arrow pressed and when right arrow key pressed is this one here starts a new program block and this one um, is only a, is a condition that can be used inside of one of these um, these little blocks here so this is this returns a value it says basically is this key pressed right now and then the program can do something uh, while well, this one starts a new program block. Uh, so if I put this here and left arrow here with the same uh, same motion. Now I have to start the program by um, clicking go here on the flag and now cat moves a lot faster because uh, this this loop here is, is executed uh, continuously um, now if we want to get even more fancy we can give the cat uh, not uh, cannot, not just move the cat instantly for each key press but give it a speed so um, 
we use a variable, let's say vx for velocity x, only for this sprite, because the speed is only applicable for, for the cat. And uh, then instead of moving directly here, I change its speed. Let's stop it here. Um, you use variables, it's always a good idea to, to initialize them at the beginning of your program. So I set the velocity to zero. And um, x basically means left or right. So the left side of the screen has negative x values, the right side of the screen has positive x values. So to move to the right, um, I change the x value by a positive amount, let's say 2. And I'm going to move left, I use minus 2. And now each time this, this loop is, uh, is run, I say change x by the value of this variable. see now that the cat can be slower or faster depending how how many times I press the left and right keys um, so you can see if I don't press any keys it will go on forever so I want to to add a little friction and slow it down after a while to do that I have to change the speed, I will change by, but sorry, to do this I have to set the variable to the current value multiplied by a slowing factor, let's say 0.7. And now what happens is it continues going a little while, but then eventually it will stop. So now we've got left and right movement. Uh, the thing would be um, jumping up and down. To do this, I make another variable vy for the sprite only, which is the velocity in the y direction. So y basically means up and down. Up here would be a positive y value and down here is a negative and zero is in the middle. I set this one to zero as well and Duplicate all this. Now I press. Uh, if I just do this with um, up and down, um, I don't change the the facing because uh, the cat is only in uh, looking left or right. And of course, I use this velocity y. No. Um, right, those as well. Um, we'll not change x, but change y by v y and v y. Oops. I times point seven now 
I can move the cat left and right and up and down. Um, which mm, does not make that much sense here because um, I don't want my cat to fly. I just want it to, to jump. So um, when I jump up, I want uh, gravity to to pull it back down. So therefore, um, I will say um, the, the y direction will basically always uh, go down with gravity. As you can see, when I started, cat just falls down. Um, I wanted to to stop when it hits the floor. Um, so um, I say if. Uh, touching color pick the color of the ground here if it touches the, the ground I want to uh, stop its fall by setting the, the velocity to zero and I want to undo this this last movement. So basically I say change y by uy times minus one. So just um undoing this this last movement but I have to change the order which I do things here like this um, so now the cat falls it should stop at the ground as you can see um, it slows down before it hits the ground like, like it's on an air cushion or something um, if I don't undo this this movement um, what will happen is the cat will oops will eventually stop but inside the floor so that's that's not so great I'd rather have it uh, land on an air cushion so now I can jump and I can run left and right I can oh, I can still jump while I'm already in the air if I don't want that because cats are not those great flyers um, I have to have to tell him that you can only jump um, and only jump when it's touching the floor so I'll just remove the down arrow because it um, doesn't make much sense. Um, so this going up will only work when the cat is actually touching the ground. And uh, to do that, I have to use an and here. So not only do we have to press the up arrow, but we also have to be touching the ground. Let's see. Not working. So what's happening now is the cat is actually um, not touching the floor because it's uh, it stopped before it actually touches by this block. Um, go to full screen 
you can actually see that it is hovering a little bit above the floor. And um, therefore, this condition here, touching color floor, will never, uh, will never work. So we have to get the cat to actually touch the floor. And we have to use a little trick here. So before we check um, if the cat touches the floor, um, actually um, lift it up by one pixel and do this check and afterwards you put it back down to the floor. Actually, the other way around. And now we see that it actually tries to jump. We have to put this way a little bit higher so that it has a chance to leave the ground. And now our cat can happily jump up and down, but not jump again when it's already in the air. So that looks quite nice. Okay, so that's it for today. I uh, hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.